Sydney. I'm Christy. So today we're cooking with Philadelphia cream cheese. We're making our favorite appetizer. It's an Asiago and artichoke, artichoke dip. So delicious. It's so simple. Only one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients and you're done. Put everything in a food processor. It takes about five minutes to prepare and about 30 minutes to bake if you want. We'll show you the secret. Perfect. So to start, we need our star ingredient which is so that's for cream cheese. Of course, a whole brick. And we use the full fat one, we just find it's better in this. What we've done, we've chopped in about two cloves of garlic. We right. put it in the food processor. We're going to the last one, we're just going to cut it up and add it in. So while she's Perfect. doing that, we also have one cup of sour cream. I'm just going to throw that in there. It's going to be a nice creamy textured dip. And what's great about this is we use for many uses. We put it on burgers and sandwiches, so delicious. We also serve it with crackers, cheese, crackers, vegetables. And vegetables as a dip. And what we're gonna show you tonight, which is our favorite, we're gonna hollow out a big, big bread, a circular bread, um, big loaf. Big loaf. Take out gonna, all the insides. And then you're gonna put the dip in and bake in them for about 30 minutes so it gets ooey and gooey. So delicious. You're gonna love it. So, artichokes go in, so all you have to do is put it, oh sorry, drain this. Mostly drain it, make sure it's yeah. more drained than that. That's okay if a little bit of liquid goes in. So, artichokes go in, everything goes in together, it's so simple. Mm -hmm. You blend it and pulse it a couple times and that's it. So, we're gonna start pulsing it at the end. We're gonna add about a fourth cup of grated asheville cheese and that's it. Asiago cheese, which is such a good ingredient in this. If you don't want to add the cheese, you can leave it like this, but you can we just think. You the artichokes. We're not really measuring, the but. Billy cream cheese. Do we'll about a fourth of a cup, or maybe a little, little bit more yeah. cheese. And we'll have the exact measurements on the recipe below. Yes. So this is about a quarter cup. That looks like Christy. That looks good. Okay. She's going to give it a couple more pulses. There we go. Lock it in. It is all done. I don't know if you can see the consistency here. Oh, Let's it looks try and so it delicious. It looks it's so creamy. It's creamy, so smooth. Smooth. Ugh. You can this dip is your so veggies right in there. Amazing. And a lot less fat than using mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah. So we like to love cream cheese. So just add a little bit of salt in. We'll just stir it in. It's just to season it. So you can leave it like this, like Sydney said, serve it with crackers, serve it with veggies. Serve it on your favorite sandwich, but today we're going to show you how we're going to do it in a bowl. Okay, so this is the loaf, just a round piece of fresh bread, it's really fresh. All you do is cut around it. Perfect. You should make almost like a bowl within the bread, so easy. Take it out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a little knife and just take out some of this middle, because we're going to use the middle as our kind of the, the dipping dipping. bread. So good. It's delicious. You can even rip it out if you want you're to. You're going to put it aside and then you're just going to take it and then trip it into bite sized pieces. Perfect. To dip with the creamy artichoke dip. And then we're also going to use this as well. It's the end of this. Perfect. So cast it aside. We're going to make this look pretty. We're going to add some crackers to that. Don't worry. So that's what it looks like. So you're going to grab it. And you can set the oven at 375 while we're cutting the bread here. Perfect. Add it in so our bowl. Put everything into the center. Gonna take the middle out so you don't get that in the way. Perfect. A little messy. Oh, being careful. It's very sharp. Okay. So this makes a perfect amount for this. Make sure to scrape the mm. edges and get all that yummy. This is a proud pleaser. So good. And super easy too. And it looks so professional. When you bring this to a party, your friend's house, it took us an all of five minutes to make. You can bring it and bake it there. Oh, baking it there, that is a winner. It smells so good. So we're going to add a little bit of fresh cheese on top just because we like the Asiago so cheese. Extra grated Asiago cheese. And we're going to keep the top off. We're going to put it into a baking dish, into the oven. That's it. 25 minutes just so the cheese melts in with the cream cheese dip. Kind of gets gooey, it's a little bit red in the middle, and that's it, you're finished. Appetizer's done. So simple. Hope you guys enjoy. So we just took it out of the oven. It looks perfect. You can get a closer look mm, at this. Nice and crusty. Looks so professional. So we're going to add nice crackers around this, put us on the serving platter. We have some bread cut. Now we'll just try a little bite to see how it tastes. Yeah. 
And then we'll serve a nice one when our guests come. We'll show you the food. Oh, so. Careful, it's hot. Steamy. I know. Real. We need to try with our spoon. So good. The leather cream cheese makes this the best consistency. So for you, less fat, cheesy. So delicious. I turn to try it. Here's the full ones, Joel. Cameraman's. This for me? Yep. Yeah. Not to be seen, but it's fine. Mm. No, no, no. This is already the new box. I already put it. <laughs> I'm a step ahead of you. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. They'll be good on our burgers on the What's bus. What's in there? Oh I my god, it's so good. I love your cream cheese. Oh, I've just been eating this. That's what we've been so close since six three weeks. Oh, that's good. That's good, eh? Enjoy. Stay tuned for next week. <laughs>